One of the things that we're not hearing a lot about is the unique potential safety problem of coronavirus vaccines. Uh, because what happens with certain types of respiratory virus vaccines, you get immunized, and then when you get actually exposed to the virus, you get this kind of paradoxical immune enhancement phenomenon. And what how and and we, we don't entirely understand the basis of it. But, and unfortunately, some of my colleagues in the biotech uh, industry are making these inflated claims. You know, you've, you've seen this on, on the newspapers, we're going to have this vaccine in weeks or in this and that. What they're really saying is they can move a vaccine into clinical trials, but at the Center for Biologics Evaluation Research, they're aware of the problem, but it's not going to go quickly. We're going to have to follow this very slowly, cautiously to make certain we're not seeing that immune enhancement. So you know, now we're hearing projections a year, 18 months, who knows. What's the best the American people can hope for in terms of a quick vaccine? Well, I, you know, I think it's, it's really important to remember that vaccines are not quick. And, and that has a lot to do with vaccine confidence in the United States because, as you know, we have a very aggressive anti-vaccine movement here in this country. And measles came back in 2019 because of the anti-vaccine movement. Historically, when we've had measles epidemics, it peaks now, late winter, early spring. So we may be battling two epidemics. Um, so we have to reassure the public that we don't give out vaccines unless they're thoroughly tested. And they are the most thoroughly tested pharmaceuticals we have for safety. So, you know, I just want to thank Dr. Hotez, too, for, f for leading the fight against the anti-vaxxers. That misinformation.